So here we go, coming up to the trail that you really can't see until you're on top of it. Bam, there's a trail. I make it small so you can't really see it right now until it's done. And we got this little bridge, little stream underneath me. All this has to get weed whacked and, and it looks nicer. And we come through a little bridge system here because it's all mud. So I had to do something, at least to start it so I can get through here. And there it is. That's the setup. It's a little messy in the yard because I've been working a lot, but I got the boardwalk started right here. All these, all this is reclaimed wood off of jobs and uh, the posts are actually trees that I've cut down and then planted into the ground. A little drainage system here for some swamp water. Let's get up here. Oh, the garden. Got some beans, carrots, summer squash, onions, a bunch of stuff going on there. There's my little uh, wash station. And it has the drainage that drops into that too for the water that comes into the ground. So all that seeps into this little natural channel I made with rocks. That all goes there, and then the water drains into the swamp. As you see, there's water in it. We got our fire pit. That's our hammock. That's Old Glory. And that's the windmill. And then over here, we got the rain collection bucket, which is filtered. With a hose directly into the house. That's the electric wire that looks disgusting because I haven't dug the channel yet for the underground. Uh, extra gas. Here's the boardwalk. Basically cuts over. And then it's going to go into the woods where I just came from. All the way down there. Pretty cool. So, now that we've seen this, let's show you this water I got going on here. I mean, I got some serious water, you know? Just as good as what will come out of your tap, but it's not filtered. So I have to put an inline filter into that and then it's gonna slow down the pressure. I don't wanna slow down the pressure because I have a water wheel that's going on here and I need more pressure. So, I mean, a little bit more than that would be sufficient. I gotta increase the PSI, so that's for another day. Let's go up here. <sighs> right. We come out here. I now have barbed wire surrounding the house because there's critters out here that like to try to climb in and the big ones I really want to keep out. So my power line that I ran today goes over our trail. Here's our trail. It goes over the trail, connects to my 100 foot extension cord, which gets sent all the way to that little spot right there. Let's go check that spot out. This is the new spot I had to find um, to get power from because I built my, I put my little house, a little off grid set up right in the middle of the woods. So it's all shade, but I got this now, all oh, this openness. So this is all going to this guy and these are the solar panels. Nothing too crazy. They're still getting sun. As you can see, the lights are on. Light, light, light. So they got low light, which is good. Then we go into our box here. We got six car batteries, which are hooked up into a um, series to where it's a continuous 12 volt. So right here we got our Solar charger. Solar charger is reading at 11.4. It's probably a little lower than that because we're still charging, as you can see, that little battery guy going there. But that gets hooked up and sent, like I said, all the way down there. And since this field is currently not being used, I've kind of adopted it as my own for my power source. But these guys are eventually going to go 
probably a little further back over here on a stand up in the air so that way if we do put animals in here they won't bother it and then I could actually do a better wiring system also. So here we go, back down the trail. I'm gonna go show you where I get the water. So come down here. There's the little spot right there. As you can tell, if you, you know, come down here, you can see my house, but if you're up on the farm, you can't see it at all. And up on the mountain, you can't see it. So as you see, I got this pipe, ugly ride running down through my yard. See, it all goes right to my water source. So the pipe goes here, then it goes, disappears, because I had to dig it under the trail, because I have horses and quads and Jeeps and stuff that ride through here. So come up here, there is the pipe. It goes up, give you a little scale. See how it just disappears into the ground right there? Well, that's because I came up here and battled gnats and mosquitoes and built this reservoir. So I built this little dammed up reservoir here that holds it probably about on a good day. I'd say right after the rain, it probably holds, I'd say probably 50 to 100 gallons. It's not uh, cemented in or anything, but it's constantly being fed right here. See the water flowing? It comes out underneath here, on this side over here. And if I actually find where the stream is coming down through the mountain thoroughly, I could, uh, I could actually get more water out of this. But for right now, this is working. I have to filter it again. And then I put it into a Brita to drink it. So let's go down again. Everything is an adventure here. I don't have very good paths. So it's like straight rock climbing and stepping over poison ivy and shit. But I'll come back down the path here. Um, everything has been developed since I've gotten here. I mean, we flattened out and cleared this whole piece of property up. Before I knew it was the neighbors, <laughs> but our trail has an easement to go through here. So, well, or there's gonna have one soon. Um, I came down here, this was the original thing. It used to look like this, something like that, right? Now it looks like this. This was in my other video maybe, but um, I got all this out. Steady supply of water coming down through here. A lot of black sand, silt. Um, there's clay. There's a lot of stuff going on in here. But it all goes down through here. Oh, there's a Mountain Dew can. So it all comes down through this little bridge area that I'm going to build eventually. Uh, but that goes to the neighbor's yard who is kind of like a loner. So we leave him alone. But yeah, a little pond system coming down. It's a little filled in. I got to dig it out more again. Usually this right here is an aquifer. And um, it just shoots straight out of the ground. It must have a really, really good channel coming down off the mountain. We got a squirrel hanging out in the woods over there. So then we go to our trail system. This trail leads to the top of the mountain, which leads to, I don't know, a thousand acres of riding trails. So we kind of come up all the way up though. On a good day when I go hiking, I can probably do about eight or nine miles discovering new things along the way. But yeah, I mean, my house is down there. You can barely see it. Kind of camoed in. Stream system. Here's the trail I just came up. But yeah, this is uh, the new norm, as they say. But for me, you guys are stuck in limbo, not knowing your futures. I don't know what the future holds for me, but I like this life. It's peaceful. No one's here to bother me. And um, got to be honest, I've been wanting to do this for a long time. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video tonight. Um, it's not edited. I just go off the handle. So, I don't know. This is where the trail ends for you guys. 
See you later.